She writes that the International Journal of Obesity puts the failure rate of diets at 95%. Other studies put it at 98%, which means that the only diets which, that are successful, meaning that people lose a significant amount of weight and then keep it off, is between three and 5%. For some perspective, the acceptance rate at Harvard University for 2023 was 3.4%. Hello YouTube and welcome to the Body Honesty Project. My name is Lydia and today we are talking all about inspiration and in particular who is more inspirational, Joey Swole or the Bopo? So what exactly is inspiration? Inspiration is the arousal of the mind to do a creative or unusual activity. For example, you could see a really great movie, then be inspired to read the book that it was based on. Or maybe you saw a great Broadway show, then became inspired to take dance lessons. Inspiration is a stimulus that causes your brain to want to take action. Inspiration keeps our brains active and our hearts fulfilled. Because you aren't going to be inspired to do something that you don't really want to do. Taking action fulfills your brain's creative need to do something, and the accomplishment of the task treats your brain to some gratification. Inspiration not only exercises our brains, but makes us feel good about what we're doing. And people that are inspiring motivate us to do the things that we always wanted to do, be the people that we always wanted to be, and accomplish the things that we always wanted to accomplish. I had a conversation with Aaron on the Trails specifically about Joey Swole versus the Bopo. So why don't we jump right on into that chat while we discuss some inspiring TikToks. Hello everyone. Today the topic is Joey Swole versus the Bopo and which one is more positive. Today with me, I have Aaron from Panel 2. Now you might remember Aaron from his weight loss story, but you probably don't know a whole lot else about him. So Aaron, can you please introduce yourself to my viewers and tell them who you are, what you do, and where they can find you? Hi, my name is Aaron. You can find me on Instagram at Aaron on the Trails. It is all one word. Um, I'm a social worker. I live in Indiana. And um, yeah, I just found some of these stories that were interesting and found a huge dichotomy between them. So we are discussing today Joey Swole versus the Bopo. And Aaron brought this topic to me because he saw a gap between what is actually positive and what the Bopo says. So the video that we we're doing today is about inspiration and how Joey Swole inspires people versus how the Bopo kind of inspires people. Can you give me your thoughts on to why this comparison is valid? Uh, yeah, like you said, there's just such a big difference here. Um, one is motivating one to do better and to improve themselves. And another one is just saying th there's no way to get better. You're just there. You're you're stuck, essentially. And it's kind of like which one is more positive, which one is uplifting to you, like the one that says, like, let's get better. I'm going to support you or the one that says you're done for. You. Exactly. Like, there's, there's no way to do it. Exactly. So I'm going to start with playing a comparison of Joey Swole being inspirational versus fat acceptance not being so inspirational. You ready? What's up, guys? Thought to hear my six pull up PR. No matter who you are, you can be an inspiration to others. It is your Fat Liberation Month thought of the day. Today, I'm pulling out some numbers about how many diets actually work. And I'm pulling these numbers from Tipping the Scales for Justice, Fighting Weight-Based Discrimination. She writes that the International Journal of Obesity puts the failure rate of diets at 95%. 
Other studies put it at 98%, which means that the only diets which, that are successful, meaning that people lose a significant amount of weight and then keep it off, is between 3 and 5%. For some perspective, the acceptance rate at Harvard University for 2023 was 3.4%. And yet a lot of times we act like all people need to do is diet and they would just magically lose weight. So very, very, very different views, right? For inspiration, Joey Swole is looking at this little kid, encouraging him, being inspired by this little tiny boy. Like, do you not cry watching him do it the seventh and eighth pull up? Like, I know. Especially when the kid said he's going to start off at six. Yeah. And um, I thought, I thought about that a lot just when I was watching it because, you know, something that somebody talk, told me very early on, I was kind of starting my fitness and weight loss thing was you're always able to do a little bit more than you think you can. Like, you know, if you think you can bench 50, and I'm starting at a very low number, of course, mm -hmm. um, if you think you can bench 50, you can probably do 75. Right. If you think you can do 10 reps, you can probably do 12. If you think you can run four miles, you could probably run six. This kid started off with saying, I'm going to do six, six. He did eight. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, 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 did that. Of course, you know, Joey wasn't in the same room with him, but you know, you almost feel that encouragement there. And that, his you know, little face, his little I know, face so, fighting for that eighth one. That I is know. inspiration. That was, I want to bottle that face on the eighth pull up. That's inspiration. And he was so proud of himself too. I mean, and that's such a universal moment at the gym too, for people who've been there. You know, there's a guy struggling who's carrying a heavy weight, who's trying to do that fifth or sixth rep or what, however many he's doing, he or she is doing. And people just start cheering them on, saying, you can do it. Go, go for it. Go. And once again, that's a big part of why I wanted to do this or look at this is because that is such a difference there between like that encouragement and what is said in the other one where it's like, you can't do it essentially. <laughs> like it's such a negative attitude as, as opposed to that and positive, like just digging into yourself and seeing what doing going beyond what you even you thought you could do mm -hmm. for your own self. I agree. And the whole inspirational thing is completely lacking in fat acceptance as what I see, because when I'm juxtaposing those two videos, Joey Swole being hyped about this little kid trying to better himself, juxtaposed with fat activists saying there's no point in trying to diet. Right. They all fail. Why bother? There's only 3% of people that succeed. Yeah. Like, how is this positive? Like it's, they're called BOPO, body positivity, but they are so body negativity. Like don't bother trying. Nobody says that you have to be perfect. Nobody says you have to be a, like built like Joey Swole, but there's, why can't we try to improve ourselves? Like, that little kid, I, I swear to God, he's not trying to be Joyce Wolf. He's just trying to beat his six pull-up record. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. can't we try to beat our, like, 10 steps record or 50 steps record? Or, right, like, right. And in running, there's always that talk about PB, personal best. Yeah. Like, you go out and you just try to, like, say you ran a 5K in under 40 minutes. The next time you say, I really want to get under 35 minutes. Mm-hmm. And if you hit that, you just feel so fantastic about yourself. And if you've shared it with friends, they get to share that joy with you. I mean, still finishing a 5K in under 30 minutes is not going to win a 5K usually. It's, mm -hmm. you know, there's going to be some kid there that's going to finish in under 15 or under 16 probably. And I kind of think of like, if somebody standing out there is like, why even bother? You're not even going to win. And I ha I've have heard that before. And I was actually going to flip this and ask you a question. Like when you were figure skating, did anybody ever say to you, is like, why do you even bother? Like only 1% of figure skaters ever make it to the Olympics. Oh, all the time. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And then the thing is, it's like, especially being a figure skater in Canada, where figure skating and hockey is like equally popular. But the thing is, you can make it in hockey easier than figure skating. Like, oh, yeah. Like, I know that's only the elite make it to hockey. I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy. But there are so many teams. There are so many yeah. positions. Like, in <laughs> figure skating, there's one. Right? Oh, yeah. We're all fighting for that one freaking crown, right? Yeah, only yeah. the top uh, two or three get to go to international competi competitions. So it's very, very, very cutthroat. It's different. It's mm -hmm. it's not the same.
it's really important that when we are getting into fitness that we set realistic goals. And I find that sometimes people expect that overnight that they will just switch their diet, switch their exercise, and then a week later, they're going to look like a bodybuilder. Can you talk about the mental shift that went in within you to acknowledge that I'm improving but I'm not going to w- wake up like the rock tomorrow. Oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, like you said, that's just that improving. And I started off so big that people noticed differences in me pretty early. Like just being active a little bit caused me to, you know, get a l- little more bulky. And, you know, even though when I, I joined a local run club, and that's been fantastic. I was always the slowest person there. And I more, more often than not, I still am but they've been so positive with me and they have really encouraged my goals too. Like when I first started, I was running 17 minute miles. So that's barely running. That's not running for most people, but they just said, that's fantastic. You're doing great. And then now like my times are getting a little bit lower. I mean, they're still not fast by any means, but they're still saying like, you've really improved a lot. That's really meant a lot to me. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a movie. It's called Brittany runs a marathon. Yeah, I did actually. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just such a parallel to what I've gone through too. And Brittany in the movie makes this whole new set of friends. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, the friends before were, you know, having her go out and party every night and her life is just kind of stuck. And when she started running, those friends helped her not only, you know, with her fitness, but, you know, just help her gain confidence um, and help her really just kind of find her own goals in her life. And that really does happen when someone surrounds themselves with positive people who are working on goals alongside you. That's a really good point because environment does make a big difference. The people that you surround yourself with, it does make a difference. And it really sucks when you're on a health journey to have to like divorce friends. Like, because I remember like the first time that I went on a health journey, I had to divorce my um, nacho and beer clan three times a week. Right. Oh, no. Yeah. It's hard because it's like, well, we we go out all the time. We have nachos and beers and we chat and like. Yeah. Then I started to come and have like water or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah. It's so I'm like, stop going. Yeah. And inevitably they're going to comment on it too. It's like, well, why can't you have, you know, five cans of beer like you always did or whatever. Yeah. Cause I'm like, yeah. that's like 2000 calories. Yeah, right. Right. And I mean, that's really, <laughs> and the- I'm conscious of it now. I'm not going to drink 2000 calories. No, no. And I mean, that's something I've really come around on too. It's, I don't, the phrase is don't drink your calories. Yeah. And I mean, that's really the big dietary restriction. I mean, of course there's other ones too. It's mainly just counting calories. That's really helped for me. Mm-hmm. But um, if you're thirsty, you drink a Coke or a beer or whatever, like that's, you know, 200 calories and you just don't even notice and you drink three or four Cokes in a setting. That's almost 800 calories right there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And you can't outrun it. Like in one of my videos, I talked about can't outrun, it, outrun a bad diet because it's like you can drink two liters of soda in like 10, 20 minutes and oh, yeah. that's 800 calories. How long yeah. does it take you to burn that off? You got to run for two hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not fun. No, it, it doesn't. It, the math doesn't math. Like you just, you can't. So I'm going to come back to inspiration again. And I want to know like, what inspires you, Aaron? Like what sort of content inspires you to do better? Really just kind of what came from Joey. That's where I've experienced that in my own life, either in the gym or running or just friends who see the weight I've lost. I mean, they just say how great I've looked and just friend, my friends who see my times going down, um, kind of the type who post all my runs on an app or whatever. And so they see my times. And they're really happy and they share their thoughts with that. You know, I have friends who don't run at all. And I have friends who've qualified for the Boston Marathon and they're just as encouraging. They're just as inspired. And I've been told by people that I inspire them. I really can't tell you how wonderful that feels. And I've had friends and I've had other people who ask me for health advice, which, you know, two or three years ago, that would never happen. I mean, first off, why would you ask my over 300 pounds for <laughs> health advice? Um, but lesser big muscular guys, I don't know. But um, anyway, I digress. Um, you know, that's, that's meant the world to me to have that support. The thing is that being inspirational, um, it doesn't mean that you sought out to be that. It just right. happens. Yeah, absolutely. And you have to embrace it. Like, 
I had no idea when I started my channel that my stories were inspirational. Yeah. But you need, if people do find them inspirational, you need to help. Well, I guess I shouldn't have said should there because it is a personal choice. However, I do feel that if you've been honored to be someone's inspiration, it's not a bad idea to embrace it because when you inspire someone, the fulfillment goes both ways. You will feel good about yourself for inspiring someone else as much as they feel inspired by you. And before we wrap, I'd like to thank Aaron on the Trails once again for joining me on this conversation. And if you didn't already know, this is the second discussion that we've had because we already discussed motivation with Joey Swollen the Bopo, and you can find that video here. And that video spawned some drama with Fats Affic Bro as they did not like how I depicted them. And if you want to see that video, you can find that one here. So until next time, stay body positive, but also body honest.